Hi, this is National Tournament Director Tim Just, the 80-20 TD. 20% effort, 80% bang for your buck. Today, we're going to download a database from uschess.org and use it with SwissSys in order to enter our players into our tournaments and making sure that those players' ratings are the official ratings for the month of that tournament. Let's get started. I'm already at the USCF site, Clubs and Tourneys, TD Affiliate Support Area. On the next screen, you'll be able to sign in as a TD or affiliate. There's all kinds of really great tools you can use in the TD Affiliate Support Area. If you haven't signed up to do that yet, get a PIN number, it's on the label of your Chess Life, or call USCF, contact them, and click on the Members Only area. There's some instructions on how to sign up as a TD or affiliate. We're going to do a video on that at a later date. Let's sign in. My sign in name. My password. Don't give your password to anybody. It'll take a few moments depending on how you're connected to the internet in order for the next screen to appear that gives you a list of links that'll get you to the tools that you're going to need in order to download the database. At the moment, my system seems to be taking quite a bit of time. Must have heard me. I'm going to scroll down to download rating supplement files. It's in the middle column. There's a list of files on the next screen that you can download. This January 2009 rating list is a monthly supplement. We want to use the Golden Database. The monthly supplement only really contains the updated official ratings since the last official rating list. If you happen to skip a couple months, you're going to have to do each month one at a time in order in order to make sure the database you're using with SwissSys has all of the official ratings and updates. If you want all the official ratings and updates right away, scroll down and we're going to go to the Golden Database. Pick the month of the tournament that you're running and that's the database you want to download. If you're doing pre-entries, the Golden Database and all the databases are available in the previous month. For instance, this database was available in December, near the end of December. This Golden Database also contains information on players who don't yet have a rating and it also contains within there their latest membership data including their expiration dates. I'm going to save this file. In the long run, this causes you a lot less headaches and it's a lot safer. You'll notice I can download it directly into a file called Golden. However, you can download it in any file you want and if you're not there yet, you can go through this scroll list and you can find exactly what you want by pointing and clicking and then making sure you save your file. Before we save it, here's a word of caution. If you're using Vista, please download this file onto your desktop, download this file into your public folder or onto your C drive or into file folders you created in those areas. Those are the areas that talk to Win that talk to Swiss Sys and talk to the USCF Chess Database Online the best. Otherwise, the safety precautions are just going to drive you nuts. Okay, public, C drive, or desktop if you're using Vista. It'll take a moment to download this file. The bigger the file, the longer it'll take. This is a file of everyone who's a current member of USCF when this file was created, usually on the 10th of the month before it's labeled. This was January, it was probably created February 10th. Close it. We don't need this window anymore, so let's log out, get rid of the window. We don't need to be on the 
uschess.org site. Let's get rid of that. And before we deal with SwissS, let's unzip our file. That's an extremely important step. If you don't unzip the file, you can't use it. Here's the file. You might have to do some searching for it if the file that opens isn't where you placed it. However, you can go through here and you can scroll and look and search and browse until you find it. Double click on it. Double click on the golden database. We're not going to take time right now to do that because there'll be some steps you have to follow through on, on your favorite zip program. And your program might not be the same as mine. Once you've unzipped it into the same file folder or at least uh, into the same area as the GD0901, you're going to get a file folder that's not zip called GD0901. You're going to need that file folder in order to talk to Swiss this. By the way, GD stands for Golden Base, 09 is the year, 2009, and 01 is the month, January. Now that we unzipped our file folder, let's go to Database, Database Setup, and let's... Now, if you were lucky enough to put your GD database into the same file folder as the previous GD database, all you have to do is click here and change the 0901 into whatever you need. For instance, next month I can change it to 0902 and that's pretty easy to do. Or you can browse. Yes, you might have to do this little trick again. Here's my folder. Here's my golden database. And don't forget to highlight the teratopsup.dbf. Open it. It will appear right here in this box. Now, before you can use the database, don't forget to click the golden default. If you don't click this, you're going to have to come back later. The golden defaults have some information different than the USCF defaults. Click OK. Remember, after you click OK, what might happen is a little box will show up and ask you if you want to index your files. And you're going to want to index the player's names and the player's IDs. Because I did this step earlier, it didn't happen right now. You're done. You're all set to start a tournament and registering players with their latest official USCF ID expiration and rating information. Thanks for listening.